last month. The government of India decided to deploy 4th Regiment of Brahmas Missile in our northeastern state, Arunachal Pradesh. CCS Cabinet Committee on Security approved the request of raising a new regiment of an advanced version of Brahmas missiles to be deployed in Arunachal Pradesh at a cost of Rs. 4,300 crore. The regiment will be equipped with five autonomous missile launchers with command post. It would include 100 Brahmas missiles. But this deployment has caused a lot of anxiety and nervousness in our northern neighboring country. Few days after the news of Brahmas deployment in Arunachal Pradesh came out, China's People's Liberation Army PLA declared it a threat to China and the boundary dispute. They went on to say that missile with updated capabilities for stealth and mountain warfare could threaten Yunnan and the Bet Autonomous Region Tar, provinces, located across the border from Arunachal Pradesh. In an article in the mouthpiece of China's armed forces, military naval engineer Shang Yuyi declared India's move as beyond India's normal need for self-defense. Playing tricks, they are bound to suffer the consequences. Quote, he, however, acknowledged in the article that the deployment can't pose a great threat as it has a limited range of 290 km and cannot hit any target in mainland China. But then why China is making so much of fuss over this small step? After all, the range of the missile is just 290 km and it can carry a warhead of just 200-300 kg. Looks like the Dragon is nervous. A brief introduction of the missile will help us understand why. Brahmos is a state-of-the-art, highly advanced, supersonic one-of-its-kind missile in the world. This short-range ramjet supersonic cruise missile was developed under joint project of India and Russia that started in the late 1990s. During the Cold War, instead of a conventional subsonic cruise missile, USSR developed an unconventional supersonic cruise missile that can evade American aircraft. Carrier's defensive setup and destroy it. It is important to note here that USSR never undertook the development of aircraft carriers. Seriously, towards the end of Cold War, four Kiev class carriers were built, one of which was Admiral Gorshko, which is now in service with Indian Navy, to tackle American threat from aircraft carriers. USSR successfully developed supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles that could evade American carriers' missile defense systems and destroy it. The aim of Brahmos project was to develop an Indian version of P-800 Onyx anti-ship missile. Initially Brahmos was developed as anti-ship missile for Navy but later its success and abilities moved Indian armed forces to push Brahmos aerospace to develop a land-based and air-launched version of the missile. Closing parenthesis, in a theoretical study, 16 ripple-fired Brahmos missiles can take out U.S. Navy's most advanced Ali Burke class destroyer. Unlike other cruise missiles like Tomahawk of the USA and Baba of Pakistan that fly at a subsonic speed of 500-600 kmph, Brahmos can touch an astonishing maximum speed of Mach 2, 8 roughly 3,400 kmph. Though its range is limited to just 290 km and it can carry a light warhead of just 200 to 300 kg. Its ability to maintain supersonic speeds while skimming at low altitude makes it very difficult to detect and intercept. During the last leg of its flight, just before hitting its target, Brahmas performs S maneuver to evade any anti-missile defense system. Brahmas kinetic energy gives it an edge in terms of stealth. Hit probability and better target penetration characteristics, making it a deadly weapon. One can only imagine the impact a target would have when a 3 ton 28 feet long missile carrying a 300 kg semi armor piercing warhead flying at speed of 3000 kmph hit it with pinpoint accuracy. SEP of 5 meters missile will tear the ship apart. Brahmos was first tested in June 2001 and later was deployed successfully on Rajput class destroyers. In 2004, land attack version from mobile launchers was tested for Army and it completed the testing in 2009. To complete its satisfaction of the end user, since then, three regiments have been commissioned and deployed. 
The 4th Regiment will have the test version of a missile that was specially designed for mountain warfare. It was first tested in April 2014 in a steep dive cum target discrimination mode that enables the missile to take out selected targets hidden behind the mountain range accurately. This is what is bothering the Dragon. China knows that India has no territorial designs. India is ensuring that its armed forces have the necessary equipment and infrastructure available to thwart any Chinese aggression. In any short swift war such deadly, accurate and stealth weapons will be of immense value to destroy Chinese command and control centers, firepower centers, radar and air defense sites etc. This would change the course of the conflict. Though China is acquiring one of the best missile defense systems S-400 from Russia but Ramos. Very small RCS radar cross-section. Supersonic speed coupled with S maneuver and low flying altitude makes it extremely difficult to track and intercept. The only possible anti-missile system that can possibly stop Ramos single a ripple fire effectively is Barak-8. An air-launched version of the Brahmos named Brahmos a is also being developed. Brahmos A will be 500 kg lighter than its army and naval versions. It will weigh 2. 5 ton and will carry a warhead of 300 kg. First demonstration flight of Su-30 MKR carrying Brahmos A was conducted on the 25th of June 2016. Su-30 MKR had to undergo structural modification and its undercarriage had to be strengthened. IAF will equip 40 Su-30 MKIs with Brahmos and has already deployed Su-30 MKI squadrons near China, border in northeastern part of India. Equipping Su-30 MKI with Brahmos A will allow IAF to deliver the deadliest punch with a set of 5 meters deep inside Tibet and Chinese province Yunnan. All frontline warships of Indian Navy have already equipped with one or two 8 cell UVLM-4 Brahmos Block Iron 2 missiles. Navy has already been doing long patrols and with the signing of Logistics Exchange Memorandum of Agreement LEO and with the USA. It will give access to both IF and Navy to US overseas naval bases. Though the LEO MA is for few specific reasons like joint military exercises, training, port calls, humanitarian missions and other military activities that both sides mutually agree to undertake. And every access request made by one country will be accessed and approved rejected by other country beforehand. This agreement does not facilitate easy and unlimited access to each other's bases. But the Dragon will not rule out the possibility where these bases could give necessary logistic support to Indian vessels or fighters to carry out an operation against Chinese mainland. After all desperate times call for desperate measures. The present Indian government has demonstrated clarity about India's objectives in every field and is bold enough to call a spade spade. Since 2006, half-hearted decisions were taken to equip armed forces to counter Chinese threat but now this process is on the fast track. Earlier we were just looking at the Chinese string of pearls encircling us but now India is turning the table on Chinese.